What's up guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, the Bitcoin price right now is pushing towards the upside of this symmetrical triangle right now. However, there is one thing which could be pretty vital for the next move for Bitcoin because each time we have tested this upper level of the symmetrical triangle right here, multiple times, already four times, we have been rejected, rejected, rejected and rejected. What is going to happen next for the Bitcoin price? Because right now we are currently at $68,800. We are fast approaching this upper level of resistance right here. Are we going to get rejected again, come down and then bounce and break out? Or are we going to go straight up to the moon? In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about that, guys. I do have a Bitcoin trade open currently around $30,000 in profit over on Bybit. We can see right here, it is in a nice amount of profit. I've had this trade open for quite a while, only with a very, very small margin of around $4,700. It's in a nice profit. My liquidation price is 45 k Hopefully, touch wood, I will be feeling very, very safe. And I will be opening a trade up on Femex very, very shortly as well, most likely on Arbitrum. I'll tell you more about that later in today's video. But if you do want to trade on Femex without KYC, the links are down below for that. But Bitcoin overall, we can see right here, it's very, very... Um, um, very, very sketchy right now because although we are pumping, this has got people very, very concerned, this upper uh, level right here, at about $70,600. However, there's a couple of things I want to touch on because previously this has happened. We can see right here, when the Bitcoin spot ETF launched, Grayscale sold astronomical amounts, leading to a 26% decline in Bitcoin. And then later, it made a new all-time high. So we can see right here, we saw a massive astronomical selling event right here, and then this pushed the Bitcoin price down, and then we saw a new all-time high. We can see right here, again, the same thing is happening for the ETH ETF as well. We are seeing a massive push down right here. Most likely, we are going to see a new ETH all-time high. However, it's not coming just yet, but the the signs are on the charts right now, and it's showing this. Also, we can see right here, look at this. U.S. presidential candidate Robert Kennedy Jr. says he will sign an executive order for the U.S. to buy 550 Bitcoin per day until they build a reserve of 4 million BTC if he is elected president. This was said at the crypto conference um, just uh, literally a few days ago. Um, we can see right here that if that does in fact come into play, of course, people have two minds about it. If they are going to be agreeing with the US government holding that much Bitcoin, 4 million Bitcoin is a lot. Personally, I think they will never execute and buy that much, uh, that many Bitcoin. I think it's not possible. And B, do you want the US government to have that, mu that much Bitcoin? Probably not, in my opinion. But I would definitely be interested in your thoughts down below. We can see right here, again, this is a very, very interesting chart showing why the Bitcoin price will be pushing towards the upside very, very soon. The Bitcoin weekly chart right here, so it's uh, the 52-week chart, which is is a yearly chart, the yearly moving average, sorry, um, is now at an all-time high. And the last time we saw an all-time high of the 52-week moving average, we saw a massive rally of the Bitcoin price. And this pretty much confirmed and was the signal for the Bitcoin price to absolutely explode. So you can see right now, we're currently this um, this moving average right here has met the previous um, the previous all time high of it which was there, and then once we met it we saw a massive explosion. Of course, keep in mind it's a very lagged indicator. It's a yearly moving average. It's going to be very very lagged. And again, right here we can see it made a new all time high or it's making a new all time high right there on this 52 week moving average. So most likely we're going to see a massive price explosion. That's why I want to have my trades open right now, guys. As I told you, I've got that Bitcoin trade open, but I am going to be opening altcoin trades over on Femex as well very, very soon. If not today, then in the next couple of days. I'm just waiting to, I'll tell you about it in just a few minutes so we can see that right there. Also, this one right here, look at this, the massive bullish engulfing candle pattern from Bitcoin. We can see right here on the three-day chart, the last time we had this bull, bullish engulfing uh, candlestick pattern, we saw a massive push to the upside from all the way down here at $38,000. We saw a massive push up to nearly $75,000. If the same thing repeats once again, we're going to have a push from the current price levels, which is about $68,000, all the way up to potentially... It says here 102,000. I don't think it's impossible. However, this is going to be a lot more uh, longer term than September, I believe. I don't think Bitcoin is going to 100K by September. And I'm a Bitcoin maxi. I think that's probably not uh, possible. But something like, 70, uh, something like 80, 90K, I think it's uh, perfectly possible. 
Final chart for Bitcoin before we move on to altcoins. And we can see right here, Bitcoin is coupling, co is coupling, is copying the famous Wyckoff reaccumulation pattern. We can see right here the Wyckoff accumulation right here on the chart. Or we can see UT phase B. We have this uh, creek right here, uh, a descending price uh, until the spring. It coils up. It goes ahead and tests. We have LPS right now, and then we have a jump across the creek, pushing towards the upside before breaking this previous um, level of resistance right here. And I think Bitcoin is in this Wyckoff accumulation pattern right now, and it could be well on its way to over $70,000 or at least $73,000 in the coming weeks. I think it's going to be very, very important to follow this chart, in my opinion. So let's take a look at some of these old coins. As I mentioned, Arbitrum is one that I think I am going to be getting into very, very soon. We can see on the daily chart right here, it's it's uh, forming a rising um, and an ascending channel, uh, an ascending triangle, sorry, right here. And it looks like it could be breaking towards the upside. So we go ahead and take the measured move from this ascending triangle right here, push put this to the upside and let's have a look at the measured move. This will see a price target of around $1.10 for Arbitrum in the coming days. I think that's a very, very nice trade from where we currently are. It's around a 51% trade. In my opinion, I'm going to be opening this trade over on Femex with around five to $10,000 on probably an eight or nine X leverage. I think that should be a very, very nice trade to enter in my opinion. And there will be a lot of profits there. Of course, if you want to trade on Femex, as you know, it's one of my favorite exchanges and there is a link to join down below with massive bonuses available right now. They have no KYC. That is pretty much why I am using it right now. I'm in the US and any other exchange I want to use it's a nightmare because I've got to use a VPN and sometimes if the VPN disconnects, it kicks me out. It's a nightmare, honestly. So using Femex, there is absolutely no VPN required. You can trade on Femex wherever you are. If you're in the US, Canada, America, US is the same as America, but you get what I mean. Uh, in Australia, wherever you are, you can trade on Femex and that's why I love it. It's such a simple platform. I've been trading on Femex since around 2018 and I love it. I'm not going to stop trading on there and I'll be opening this trade up in the next coming days on Arbitrum Mobile. Most likely. So if we take a look at the Bitcoin dominance, it's actually doing something a little bit unexpected right here. So we can take a look right here and it did actually break down from this um, rising wedge right here, which many people, including myself, thought we were going to see a break from this um from the Bitcoin dominance, we can see right here, it broke out once, it broke out twice, and then it's pushed itself back up in, and it looks like it's going to set a recent high for the Bitcoin dominance. That's most likely because Bitcoin has been rallying like crazy, and we've seen the altcoins kind of slow down a little bit after we had that massive dump, because usually when the crypto dumps, people put their money into either USDT or Bitcoin, as it's a much safer um, place to store your money rather than extremely volatile altcoins, especially meme coins. So I think that could potentially be why. If we take a look at the total three market cap as well, we can see right here, we still haven't broken this crucial level of resistance that we need to break if we want to push back to the upside and having a target here of about 720 billion for this total free market cap. Once this breaks, in my opinion, we're going to see many, many altcoins, including Arbitrum, uh, which I'm going to trade on Femex. We're going to see that explode. And I think it's going to be a very, very nice time. I appreciate you watching today's video, guys. As always, um, if you did want to go ahead and sign up to Femex and trade without KYC, the links are down below. And I'll catch you in the next one.